The thing is, I want to be able to get the saw in so that I can plunge cut from both directions.
make it I don't want to make it too wide because the chair would be too big. I need to get a nice circle in there and then cut down some of this base piece. get down to the same thickness all the way around. Stop it from splitting. to a flat surface now uh, because this slope it's too this makes it too difficult to judge get the slope slope surface like this. secret to doing these chairs is the pattern that you see on them traditionally. There's usually a band and then the band changes its direction. And it makes this pattern and the point is, is that you cut this with a saw and then you can work with the wood grain. The other thing is, is that the axis changes such a great deal. But this was the route, but 
I've still taken away a lot of wood so that the chair is, fits into the tree diagonally really. That's another aspect.
Now this is taken from the inside of the chair. I've taken a line scribe the inside there and I'm going to line scribe here in, through the same plane. Because eventually that's all going to be cut away. I'm just going to mark that one to 
to show which one. So th those are actually going to be left, left behind. That'll be left behind, and then that'll be this part will be cut away. It makes a plug. So this is cold pressed linseed oil I've got here. I'll just look, put a little bit of the oil on, on something that can just drip it on. This is a pin. You don't need very much oil, at least to start with. And the good thing about grinding is, is that you can get actually more pigment into the same amount of oil. It's quite nice to have it quite thick. There you go. This is a mixture of Harpix crystals that start off, you buy them like this, and then you mix them with turpentine. And that makes this kind of glue mixture. And this is the basis of a Damar varnish. So I can mix this in while I'm working with it, like as a kind of painting medium, and that makes it shiny, but also the glue 
changes the drying time and the properties of the paint. That's what, how you make glazes. Can you see? That. You don't have to use so much linseed oil. If you, if you get this kind of shine with linseed oil, then you run the risk of it running off, especially when you're painting on wood. Just add more of that. That's with more of the Damar varnish. So by adding more varnish like that, and, and you're actually just, just essentially le adding less colour. that together. 